one of the viewers had asked me, uh, what is the height from the bottom of the ship to the top of the main mast? And I was trying to think of how can I measure that? And then I thought, you know what, I'll bet you that if I was to use my uh, camera support here, that when I hang the camera straight, looking straight down, um, and just adjust it so it's just almost touching the top of the main mast. Then if I was to move the ship away and measure from the uh, bottom of the table to the, to the height, we should be able to get it pretty accurately. So that's what I'm going to do here. Now, I don't want to be breaking anything. That's pretty well it. It's probably a 32nd of an inch above the tip of the, of the main mast. Okay, so what we can do now is we'll just move everything away and, uh, and measure it. Well, there you have it. You should be able to read that just as well as I can. Now, just in case you were not able to read that, what I got out of it was 11 and 3 quarter inches or oh, about 30 centimeters, maybe a smidgen less. Now, this is, uh, I realize that you're thinking of making a case for it. And uh, yeah, my suggestion would be, uh, give yourself a little wiggle room. Don't make it exactly that height. Anyway, right now we gotta get our photo edge stuff. And uh, we need D26. Now D26 is this, this piece right here, This long skinny oval shaped thing um, yeah we need four of those as we're making two cranes and each crane takes two I think this represents the cable system and then over here uh, we need some uh, uh, D2's well here's our, our D, D2 right there D1's we need those um, where was another one a, a, a C15 Okay, C15 is up here, so we need, uh, I guess, one for the crane, so we need two of those. Anyway, let's get nipping here. Okay, I do believe that we are all fastened down here. Not very often we're using the wide-angle lens for this. We usually have the macro lens on. Ooh, I bent it. That was bad. I think it should be fairly easy to straighten, though. Okay, did I do that one? Yeah. And three on the end here. be getting my hand in your way for this one. Okay, there is just two tabs left. We already got this one here. That was the first one we did. So... Okay, I do believe we can take this off now and see what kind of damage we did when I bent that. Did 
Did I miss one here? I do believe I missed one. Okay, right there is where it got bent. I think that should be fairly easy to straighten. It's not that bad. It's probably going to be worse before I'm done anyway. Alright, now let's just do that three more times. And we've got them. Now we have to make up eight little wheels here. They are comprised of a number two sandwiched between two number ones. And we need, because we need eight, that means we need 16 number ones and eight number twos. Now I am noticing here as well as the eight that we have to make up. Down here we also need uh, a couple of D1s. So uh, I may as well take all of the D1s and all of the D2s and I think we'll have just the right amount. And because they're not exactly the same size I shouldn't get them mixed up. We need two C-15s and two C-18s. And here they are, nice and close together. Get them both at the same time. I know that I had said that I was going to not have a problem keeping these separate because they look, they're distinctively different. Well, they kind of are if you look at them with a macro lens. Um, but I was getting them mixed up already, so I've, I've divided them up. There's actually uh, four different types of round ones. There's the D1s, uh, D2s, and D3s, and there's also the C18. And, uh, yeah, so I... You know, I've got a bag full of uh, tuna tins. Uh, and these ones here, are what I was thinking of doing, until I need them, I am going to just store them uh, in, in this thing here. Um, you know what, maybe we should uh, check and find the one that we bent a little bit uh, and see if we can straighten that. No, it's it's very little bent because I, can, I can't even see which one it is here now. But we'll find it. Okay, it's this one right here, and it is so slightly bent that I am afraid that I'm going to probably make it worse if I try to fix it. Um, somehow, these pieces fit inside of this. And there's a little spool or something goes up here, and uh, this will go around the spool. Anyway, we'll get to that. It won't be today, that's for sure. Um, no, these, these photo etch pieces out here that we have to make eight of, Let's see if we can, uh, you know, get these together somehow. Okay, each piece needs two number ones and one number two. Now, how am I going to hold those in line and glue them together? It says make eight. OK, 
Okay. This is a number one. This is our number two that goes in the middle. Then another number one goes on top of it. Now I've got to take a pin or something and put it through the center there to keep them all centered. And uh, <clears throat> I would assume that these are supposed to be glued together. I'm, I'm, we're going to lose a lot of that wonderful detail there. For instance, I don't think we're going to see any of the detail on the center one here. I went down to the workshop and I got all my little pins and needles that I have. I thought I had more than this, but I guess I've used them up or lost them over the years. And uh, I don't know which one of these would be the most smallest in diameter. We could give that one a try. I haven't tried it yet, but I've got an idea for a jig. And it's uh, the easiest thing to do is just show it to you rather than try and describe it to you. But I think we might be able to get these to be in line. And then my thinking right now is use CA thin, just a tiny little bit, just to hold the three pieces together. Yeah, I don't know what else to do here with it. Okay, here's the idea for the jig. Pretty simple, actually. Just taped one of the pins to the side of one of my rotator blocks. And uh, the idea is I will... Well, once again, I'm just going to show you. I'll put the macro lens on, and we'll get move right into the point on this uh, on this pin here, because that's where the action's going to happen. Okay, let's just do a dry run here and see if my uh, blue tech will pick this up. Now I can't see the hole. Oops, went too far. Well, maybe that's all right. Whoop. Maybe this blue tack wasn't a good idea. Okay, we're going to try it again. This time I have a needle. It's a little bit larger diameter. It might not slide all the way down. Okay, I don't know if that's going to be much better. I had, maybe I need a larger needle. Do I have a larger needle? See, I had hoped that it would stay up here, right at the, you know, like maybe only an eighth of an inch down from the point. Um, and they all the uh, the top two would be supported on the bottom one. I'm gonna see if I can find a bigger needle. I went back down into the workshop and I thought I must have more needles somewhere. I came across these, and I had even gone to the trouble of measuring them. Can't remember what project they were for, but at the time I guess it was important that I had them measured. Anyway, let's see now if maybe this one here is slightly larger in diameter than this one. As it turns out, it was exactly the same size. So we'll have to use this big one, and we'll just place them on the top of that. Okay, here we go again. First a big one. Then the small one. And the big one. All right. Now, should I have it so that 
the spokes of all three are showing or should I have them all lined up because it seems like the center one has the same number of spokes as the others or should it uh, it might look more interesting if you could sort of see uh, I'm looking straight down on it so I'm sort of looking through it and uh, the idea whoops always have to poke okay so uh, yeah that might look actually better now if I was to put a little bit of CA thin on it let it cure and then pull the needle out I think that might work as I'm editing this out right now it is well after three o'clock in fact it's 23 minutes after three I better hurry up and get this up to YouTube and uh, otherwise it's not going to be ready for the regular viewing time Thanks for watching, and all being well, we'll see you tomorrow, and we'll find out if this uh, CA thin is going to work on that.